Aha! Welcome to Gen AI Briefs. Here's today's generative AI news for March 30th, 2024. Today we'll cover Remix AI's lightning fast AI models, Biden's AI guardrails, and NYC chatbot chaos. Let's dive in. Lightning is striking the world of AI image generation in a big way. The team over at Remix has just unleashed a slew of new ultra-fast, high-quality models that are sure to electrify creators everywhere. Let's run through the highlights, shall we? There's the versatile DreamShaper XL Lightning for all-purpose image wizardry. The photorealism giant's Juggernaut XL Lightning, Leo Sam's Hello World XL Lightning, and Real Vis XL Lightning for hyper-realistic output. And let's not forget Cheyenne, a unique model crafting images with a distinct graphic novel flair. The real star of the show here is raw speed. Thanks to Remix's new SDXL Lightning architecture, these models can conjure up top-tier AI visuals in just seconds. We're talking near real-time rendering powered by some serious technological thunder. So to all the Remix creators out there, Now's the time to feel that spark of inspiration. Fire up the create settings, select your new lightning model of choice, and let your imagination run wild at lightning speed. Then, share your most electrifying AI artwork and shock us all with the speed and quality Remix is now capable of. The Biden administration is laying down some ground rules for the federal government's use of AI. They've issued new guidance aimed at both unleashing innovation while also reining in potential risks. Here are the key takeaways. By December 1st, 2024, agencies have to implement concrete safeguards for any AI tech they're utilizing. We're talking risk assessments, testing, monitoring, the whole nine yards. If they can't provide those guardrails, the guidance says they'll have to pump the brakes on that AI, unless it's absolutely crucial for operations. It's not just a matter of checking boxes either. Agencies will need to appoint a chief AI officer to oversee implementation, and they'll have to share an annual public inventory detailing their AI use and associated risks for all to scrutinize. Talk about transparency. The big picture here is the White House positioning this as a potential global model for responsible government AI. They're calling on other nations to follow America's lead in encouraging innovation through smart governance rather than avoidance. At the same time, the guidance could act as a catalyst for more AI adoption across federal agencies now that there's a framework in place. New York City's experiment with an AI business chatbot is off to a rocky start. The city government launched this automated assistant to provide information to businesses, but it's already dispensing some sketchy and even outright illegal advice. We're talking major misinformation on huge issues like housing policies, worker protections, and basic business regulations. For example, the chatbot has wrongly told companies they can deny housing vouchers like Section 8, which is 100% illegal in NYC. It's also peddling false claims about things like tenant lockouts and lack of rent control being permissible. But it gets worse. The bot has given patently incorrect guidance that businesses can go cash-free, despite laws requiring cash acceptance. It's told staff they have no rights to schedule change notices. Just a minefield of non-compliance ready to happen. Experts are rightly sounding the alarm that this level of inaccuracy could lead businesses to break all kinds of laws and harm workers and consumers in the process. The city admits it's a pilot program in need of improvement, but that's cold comfort when it's still being presented as an authoritative source. And that's it for today's generative AI news. Thanks for listening. Links to these stories are in the podcast description. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.